Here we are back again talking about change. You know, we've talked about how change is expected in this life. You know, at one point your parents had to wipe your butt. Now you can do it on your own. Thank God for that, right? And change is something that we will continuously experience. You're not in second grade anymore. You might be graduating high school this year. You might be an incoming freshman this year. Change happens in our lives and it's inevitable. And we also learn that change is not always bad. And it's not always good that there's so many different types of change. Change, change, change will always happen. Always, always. Sometimes we change the way that we act around other people. Sometimes we might not have that self-confidence that we need to, to be who God created us to be. So we feel like we need to blend in kind of like a, a chameleon with different friends so that we feel like we're fitting in just right. Um, but you don't need to always worry about that, you know, because just like the seasons change from summer to winter to fall to spring, just like you change throughout your life, growing and becoming older and maturing is changing. Change happens no matter what, but there is hope. There is one thing that I know never changes. And I'm going to share a verse with you just to get that point across it's from James 1:17, And it reads, every good and perfect gift is from God. This kind of gift comes down from the father who created the heavenly lights. These lights create shadows that move, but the father does not change like these shadows. The father does not change. Have you ever had a friendship that was really tight, really close? And you were like, we're going to be best friends forever. And now you look back and you're like, man, how wrong was I? I missed that person. Why aren't we friends anymore? God will never be that person. You'll never wake up one day and say, Man, why did God change? Why did he leave me? God will never leave you or forsake you. As a matter of fact, in Romans, it states that there is nothing in the heavens, on the earth, or under the earth that can ever separate you from God's love. God will not change, which means he will not stop loving you. So that's not something you ever need to worry about. Something that you can grab hold of and have hope in is the one thing that will never change is God and his love for me. So take that with you through your storms, through your blessings and your victories this week that God is with you, loves you, and will never change. Take care.